take the doggies out, well I've taken the doggies out for a walk, probably, well, uh, since we moved here, so probably about seven or eight years now. Uh, so I take the dogs out for a walk. I try to take them every day, but sometimes this happens or that happens, and so it doesn't happen. I can't get them out for a walk, but it's good. The, the walk is good for their paws. It gets the, it draw it uh, it wears down the nails on their paws um, uh, quite a bit whenever they do the walk, and so that helps a little bit. Um, but on our way on the on the on the path that we walk, that we normally go on the sidewalk, um, there was this uh, this uh, lizard uh, that was there, and and. Uh, this was actually this video was shot around May May 15th of 2015. So uh, it's been quite a while. You can see the lizard right there. He has really, really, or I don't know if it's a she or he, but has really, really long nails. Um, but uh, the lizard, I thought it was dead. You know, or it was paralyzed, or maybe it was uh, um, really, really tired, you know, and not moving and stuff. But, uh, and so, it, so it was in the path, in our way, uh, where, where I normally walk the dogs. And I just, I kind of wanted to move it. Um, but I wanted to take it out of the... I didn't want I didn't want it to be in the direct sunlight because I mean look at it it's not moving hardly at all you know if I touch it I mean usually lizards whenever like if I make any movements to them towards them or if a dog makes any if the doggies make any movements towards them then they run off real real quick but this was a this was an interesting case I didn't I don't know what I don't know. I don't know why this lizard was so lethargic and just kind of hanging out. I guess that's just where this, some lizards are. Uh, I was showing you yesterday a video um, where I saw a Gila monster with a uh, with there was another guy that was walking down the um, uh, it's a path um, that runs along the wash, the Pantana Wash. And the he showed me a Gila monster, and I was looking at the Gila monster, and he was saying he was talking about the different colors and and how it can change colors and uh, some I I think he said change colors, but uh, some are different colors in the winter than they are in the summer, or uh, some are just different colors, so. Uh, that, you know, they usually have a little bit of yellow on them, so it was kind of confusing to me. I thought that all Gila monsters had a little bit of yellow on them. So, you know, this right here, this might be a Gila monster, and I just don't, I don't know it. Um, if it's a Gila monster, it's a very, very tiny one. You can see our dog, uh, one of our doggies bothering it, and I'm bothering it too by having it move. 